to Hanoi. We're about to start our adventure, bikepacking Vietnam, all the way to Ho Chi Minh City. Today, 100 miles, and uh, well, we've got to get out of Hanoi, which currently looks like this. It's not going to calm down. 85 miles from Hanoi through Haiphong to Cat Bar Island, where we're going to get ferry over to Cat Bar Island. This ride's 85 miles with 500 feet of elevation, so it's, not, it's pan flat. Get to Cat Bar Island, it's 15 miles with 1,600 feet of elevation. Jesus! Once we get out of the city, I'm hoping it's going to be a top right. get anywhere <laughs> i thought london riding in london was bad this is just on a completely different level this is so extreme at least there's no road rage this is no there isn't any road rage they're amazing but it's just there's so much going on it's complete assault on the senses like the smells the sounds it's just it's fucking nuts it's far out dude <laughs> too soon but I think we're in the clear in terms of traffic that heavy seem to be going alongside a motorway now on a much much smaller road so happy days we're actually moving faster than 20 miles an hour as well quite windy today we've got a bit of a headwind but it's actually quite nice because the breeze looks well, like kind of like a hairdryer but you know we'll take what we can get <laughs> <laughs> this is so good it's so good mate you're in the way yeah. what's up brother so we've been running for about two hours now and we've only covered how far 14 miles 14 miles. Should get quicker though. Now we're out into uh, slightly faster moving roads. We can do 20 mile an hour and actually cover some ground. It's been an experience for sure. So a few of you guys put in the comments that there's a road, Highway Q1, I think, which we should be avoiding. I think we're on it. It's a pretty big shoulder. Not on this bit, but there was a big shoulder. I mean, there's loads of mopeds on it and you can draft them, it's much quicker. Anyway, our route's gonna be a bit of a mix. We've just gotta get used to it out here first. Have you got a headache because uh, of the dehydration or have you got a headache because you drank half a bottle of whiskey last night? Probably half a bottle of whiskey last night. It's not really crisps weather, is it? Oh, I kind of fancy crisps. Do you? Salty? Yeah, salty. When you're done with that coke, do you want to hit over this Whoa. massive bong thing? <laughs> the pipe is communal. Everyone comes here, sits down, lights the bong, smokes the bong and then fucks off. How, it happens. how long till we get there? How long till we get there? How long till we get to how long? So we're feeling a tiny bit cooked. We spotted a fridge and they sell some nice cold cokes. And we're using it as an opportunity to book the ferry for later on because we've got to get a ferry for the last bit of the journey. It's us, mate. It's actually us. It is, that's yeah. what we look like in Lycra. That's what we look like, yeah. So, a bit of an issue. There's jizz everywhere. There's jizz everywhere. That's the issue. Tubeless explosion, sharp thing on the road. Some of it went in my face. Tubeless, it just doesn't work. Stick it there. Glad there's a guy here to help by watching us. Very helpful. It is good. He's pulling the face. Should have gone too. Best thing on this trip so far, nuts. tail fin. Amen. It's the absolute nuts. Isn't it? It's such a good piece of equipment. I mean, this is a lot easier. Yeah, 25 mile an hour, 150 watts. Great. cold coke um thought we'd come and have a bit of a chill and appreciate the lovely view of the main road from this plastic children's garden chair you know what we should appreciate though is how amazing vietnamese people are oh, so nice <laughs> just like the, the most amazing most friendly people. guys that guy would have tried to fix the puncture if you'd asked him to he would have just uh, done it uh, i think it's getting cooler mate don't know about that mate wahoo says 38 degrees so it was supposed to be 24 degrees this is so we should tell the viewers. It was also supposed to piss it down. We've done 62 miles and it's taken us almost six hours. But to be fair, the first two hours 
we only rode 14 miles. <laughs> That's how slow the traffic was. It, it's unbelievable. So um, we're just coming into Haiphong, which is a, a kind of uh, a delta town. I'm gonna try and get a boat from here. From here, because, well, why not? Right, Loz. The camera's been off the camera's for a while. Camera's been off because you've been in serious mode, haven't you? We've, we've been, we've all been in serious mode. After that initial first puncher, uh, put a big cut in my tire, managed to get another pinch flat on the way because I guess maybe it didn't have enough pressure in, but the road surface was terrible. Stopped for ages, found out one of my spare tubes had a faulty valve. Put another one in, that's the one we're using now after many, many struggles with the uh, tubeless sealant and everything in it, tire not seating properly. So, we are at a ferry port but not the right ferry port. And I don't think we can get to the one to get us to Halong Bay uh, in daylight. So, small change of plan. You've got so much shit on your face. What a day. What a day. <laughs> right, before we uh, go to our hotel, we're actually <laughs> gonna make a quick stop off to a local bike shop. Don't even know if it exists, but I mean, it's listed on the internet, so maybe? We'll see. Pretty cool around here, actually. Haiphong City. So it did exist. Low hopes. This isn't a bike shop, this is a bike street. It's a whole street. Every street, every shop on this street is a bike shop. It looks like we're gonna be busy then. Hello. Google Translate. Hello, do you have this? I might have to do uh, some creative remodeling of my wheel. Valve extender is such a simple piece of kit, but when you don't have one and you're the other side of the world, that's pissing down. If we'd have been riding in that, I would have lost my shit. They wouldn't let us, uh, the hotel wouldn't let us keep our bikes in our room. Because I'd originally booked some room and come out of this. They just upgraded us. Oh my god. We don't have to share a bed anymore, I mate. Love you, man. you can't say that to everyone. <laughs> what are we looking for? Food. You want some pho? Fo, foo. They pronounce it foo. Don't they? I don't know what any of this is, but it tastes fantastic. And each dish is a pound. All right, so we're back in the hotel room now. We're all pretty tired. Uh, as James said earlier in the video, it's been an assault on the senses today. We've managed to figure out most of the issues and we're kind of pushing back the schedule a day. So we're still gonna have some chill time in Halong Bay. We're just gonna travel there tomorrow and then spend the next day there. It would be rude not to miss something so iconic, I think. I'm gonna head back to that street with the bike shops on there, see if I can find the piece that I needed as well. But we'll see. If not, I'm gonna drill a hole in my wheel. As always, thank you for watching and stay tuned for tomorrow's episode. Bye for now.